You know, I know what Teresa thinks. God, I know. I mean, she's drummed it into my head for... for years now. I just can't believe that Gwen would have deceived me for all these years. I mean, I've known her since boarding school, Chad. She couldn't have lied about this. Well, one of them's lying. Do you think it's Teresa? Where did Teresa disappear to? <sighs> Should be interesting. Okay, here comes trouble. <sighs> Rebecca, you wouldn't happen to have seen Teresa, would you? Mm, sorry. I don't keep track of gutter snipes. Ugh, why can't you just die? You stop even for me. Oh, man, you two should get into mud wrestling. I would pay good money to see that. Hey, 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 watch the face. Hey, hey, don't kill the messenger. I won't. I need you to talk to Ethan. Never. Get off of me. Stop. So you sure you haven't seen Teresa anywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I don't even know why I asked. Why would I, why would I believe you? <laughs> why would I lie? Well, who knows? Who knows what goes on in that pea brain of yours? You probably lie about everything. <sighs> you know what? I bet you probably knew all about Ivy's plot to break up the Bennets. Do you know what is really interesting about that? What is interesting is exactly who did know what Ivy was up to. Your mama. Yeah, I know about that. It's hilarious. I mean, dear Dr. Eve, oh, she was willing to let her very best friend, Grace Bennett, go through hell just to protect her own dirty little secrets. Shut up, Rebecca. Yeah, the hypocrisy. Oh, my, my, my. I mean, Eve was always looking down her nose at the rest of it. It turns out that she is just as malicious as me. You know, I'm not going to sit here and let a tramp like you criticize my mother. You know, honey, I would look a little closer to home before you call me a tramp. Your fiancé is a tramp. I want you dead. Well, I want you alive so I can see your face when Ethan says he wants a divorce. Never! Don't you Oh, I just love being fought over by you two. Ow, that hurts! Good, now you listen to me, JT. For all the money that I paid you, I want one thing and one thing only. You use the proof from Rome to convince Ethan that Gwen and Rebecca were the ones who wrecked his life. Oh, don't you dare say a word. Ow, oh, you stop it! I bruise easily! Tell Ethan the truth! What is with you? And Romy would have killed to have JT tell Ethan the truth at the motel. You do a 180. Now you don't want him to talk to him. Now you're back to square one. What is your secret? Tell me. Tell me her secret, JT. JT! Don't you open your mouth. 